Let's be welcome back to you guys to Let's Play Amnesia Memories and in the last episode. <laughs> uh stuff and people can't look at and someone can't look at Tomo without getting angry, so Pretty much. <laughs> Alright. It's over. We're all burned out. Nice work today. Wait, are you alright now? Are you okay? Another thing about you, you've been looking tense all day. Mm. It's the manager. Good. <laughs> That's a relief. Wow, the manager is glaring at you. You must have really been acting strangely. What happened? Are you worrying about something with to do with Kent? Ah, uh, Kent. I'm kind of curious what she has to say, but I really want to rest now. Well, in reality, you're the one who has to run around having a hard time, not me. But we, because we merged, I can feel all your fatigue and anxiety and things like that. I wanted to, but I guess I could always cut off my connection about your senses so that I wouldn't have to understand as much. Oh, come on. But I wouldn't understand as much. Wow, he looked gloomy. Is it really that bad? Don't tell me you guys are at the point of breaking up. Wait, does she think you're worrying about Kent? Well, she did kind of just or say that. are you worrying about him going to study abroad now that you're dating? Even though you knew that going in, is it, it's for a whole year. That's a long time. Studying abroad? Kent's going to London to study at the end of the month. That would make me worry too. Regardless, whether you knew about it beforehand or not, once you start going out and you're always together, it's sad to start a long distance relationship after all that. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't heard about this before. There's no hints of, at all from place, from like that from Kent. He's planning to go study abroad in a month. Are you feeling sad? You can talk to me about it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I wonder if you felt sad about it from lo before losing your memories. Yeah, I do feel sad about it. Yeah, I don't blame you. You were acting like you were fine before, so I thought you didn't mind, but things really do change when you start going out. Wait, you acted like you were fine? Sheesh. I didn't just tell Kent that you feel lonely. I think if you said that, Kent would be so shocked that he'd fall over dead. Probably. But still, I wonder if you were intending to what you were intending when you were going out with him before. Normally, you'd be really concerned if you liked a person you couldn't see for a whole year. Well, anyway, I'll see. What I'm trying to say is, if you ever need to vent, feel free to talk to me anytime. I'm sure Ken will be busy until the 25th with the conference and all. You might not be able to see him much. But you only have a month left together. You can't be gloomy. You need to charge her this time. Anyway, I'll be going home first. Wait, hold on. Tell us more about it, Zawa. She left. I We never did. I never did show you that. She swats off. Oh, she swat off. Today was tough again. Oh my god. I wonder if I only have to the twenty. Oh, again. Oh god. Okay. Anyways, but I wonder about the about the studying abroad thing. I wonder how you felt and Ken felt about it. Ken said he wanted to, he wants to see you at any chance he gets, but being apart for a whole year is okay. I don't know what the conference on the 25th is, but I guess he's busy preparing for it. He's going out of his way to see you, and maybe that's why you always ended up doing separate things when you're together. How does Ken really feel? Does he want to see you? Oh, phone! Speaking of home, it looks like he sent you a message. You, you have Sunday off, right? Let's meet. Hmm. Blunt as always, but at least he's asking you on a date, right? Oh, there's no feelings in this. Do you have anything, anything from this, Alex? Can't he put a little more emotion to it when he asked you out? Like, he wants... At least he could say something like, I want to see you. How will you reply to him? Ugh. I don't understand. Let's meet. That's a lot of letter... Well, like a lot of challenge. <laughs> I'm waiting in front of your house at noon. I don't want to sound too excited. <laughs> no matter what I look at it, this is an arrangement to have a duel. Anyway, I guess you'll have plans now to meet Kent the day after tomorrow. All right, you just need to th work through tomorrow, and then you'll have Sunday through Wednesday off. Double with Kent, get bad end. No, I know. After dinner, we should review the manual again to do a perfect job tomorrow. Swaz, 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 swaz. Yeah, she swaz off. <laughs> I wonder who will be working with tomorrow. I hope her, because Mina was kind of a bitch. I know, total bitch. And she has pink hair. That makes her a bigger bitch too. <laughs> I'm gonna feel horrible when I'm wearing my Ichigo cosplay. Yeah, you're but like, Ichigo, you're such, a, you're such a magical girl, bitch. But Ichigo isn't a bitch though. That's the I know. Oh, good morning. Oh, it's Mine. You were making a lot of mistakes the day before yesterday. Are you sure you're alright today? I don't want to run in around cleaning up your messes. Work harder, okay? You sound sincere until you made that face. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, she made a lot of fun of me the other day. But we both studied last night. We know all the little details you wouldn't normally know. Just watch. Let's go, Alex. Time to show off your hidden powers to Mina and the manager. 
sounds like a TV show, Mine and the Manager. <laughs> I'm gonna cry a jingle for it or something. Master, is there anything else you desire? Madam, please feel free to use this lap blanket. Hmm? It seems like the customer is at table nine. I've been looking for Mina for a while. I wonder if we should tell her. Hmm. I can see it. I can see everything. Right now, I watch her with this cafe of total perfection. <laughs> what are with you? <laughs> they just wanted to put him in a bunch of different outfits. Yeah, he's probably. The he's the only reason this game is even existing, because they wanted to put Orion in different outfits. Maybe. And then the day was over. Day six. Already done. Not bad at all. <laughs> you got complimented by the manager. Yes. I put too many words to that. Oh well. Mm -hmm. You're pretty good, Alex. You worked really hard today. Mm -hmm. I see. So you changed your work style. <laughs> Is that really good? Maybe she was confused for a while because she was reworking her style. No, that's not it. But let's just leave it at that. You should learn from her, Mina. Bird! Hmm? Yes, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I'm not angry at you. Hmm. You're really popular popular among male customers, Mine. There are a lot of them who come here just for you. You should be proud of that. You don't need to force yourself to reassure me. Mine? I'm gonna go change. I can't remember what voice I'm doing for her. <laughs> uh, maybe we hurt her pride. Don't worry about her. You should get changed too. Thomas sure is nice. He warms up in the. He really warms up the workplace. This is the only outfit I wear, so I'm gonna go home in this. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a sexy maid. Or butler. butler. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see Tom as a maid? Uh, no. That I I can't. I just can't do this. Okay. Sorry. What a refreshing day. Ah, what a refreshing day this was. <laughs> All that ever was worth it. Although I feel a little sorry for me and I. Huh? Good work today. Speak of the devil. And she, she was saying, Matt, your work in your private life must seem to be really going well. I heard from Sawa that you started going out with him. That's great. I haven't congratulated you I haven't congratulated you yet, have I? Hmm. But why? Why did it have to be him, of all people? There's so many good men out there. You've got so many to choose from. Toma's a really nice guy. She might be a little harsh, but he's always, he's really attractive. And then Ukio guy who comes here for the cafe sometimes is here for you too. That guy's super hot. Oh God, not him. Uh, <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. We know Toma, but who are the others? So why? Why would you choose such a blunt, scary, stubborn guy to go out with? I thought nobody would fall for him. I thought I'd be, I would be the, oh, what? Oh! So please don't fall in love with that weird That's guy. That's why she hates you. Cause she likes him. She likes every guy you like pretty much. It's weird. <laughs> uh, what? Isn't that a weird guy? Isn't that a little weird for you to say about a guy that you're into too? I guess Mina likes Kent. Alex, why do? What do you like about him? Uh, here comes tough questions. Please answer me. Can't you do that at least? Well, what do you think I like about him? So Ernest, I like that he sticks to his own way of life. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I can't deny that. I can't say anything back. It's true, there's nobody else like him anywhere. He's the only one. Huh. In other words, I guess that means you're like, you like the weird parts of him too. I'm not the only one. I won't give up. I'll show you. I'll definitely steal him away from you. I'm cuter, more sociable, I'm good at cooking, and I'm talented. I have a great personality. I like to argue that last point. <laughs> <laughs> I have a butter in my fly in my hair, and my messy bun in my pretty hair. I mean, come on, aren't I just fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> so I won't I know I can win him over. I won't give up. I'll never give up him up to you. Ah, uh, she's gone. <laughs> hmm. What would the past you have done? Would you have gone up to against her or would you have just let him have her? Or have him th never mind. Let her have him. Thank you. Nobody but you knows that that before you lost your memories knows the answer to that question. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> Uh, well, apparently she hates us because we are dating Kent and she likes him. It's like, why does everybody want us to want to steal us from people? Well, in the why? last round, nobody There's no such thing as an Otome game without drama. I guess. Like, really? Alright, starting today, you got some kind of- you got some time off work and you have a date with Kent today. Hmm, it's almost time to meet. Should we meet- we should meet outside. 
Ah, it's noon now. Oh, sorry for the wait. Whoa, you came in exactly noon? What is your robot? Let's go. Today I was thinking of walking down the path we used to meet often before. Hmm, a walk down memory lane, so to speak. <laughs> That's a surprisingly normal date. Wait, a walk? Could this mean that you're going to end up in another walking race? Mm -hmm. uh, he's walking too fast and he says nothing! Fuck you, man. Oh, I think he was right here on here where Kent lives. It's a different path from the walk you work take to work, so it's kind of refreshing, although I don't have time to take in the scenery. can't catch up to him. Are you okay, Alex? Does he seriously think this is a date? He should learn from that playboy friend of his, Iki. I think he, I think he was right. To, knows how to treat a girl, right? One hour later. I guess. Walking, running. Wait, is this a grave? Where are we even going? What's wrong? Why aren't you keeping up? What you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, jeez. Talk. Look. Mm. I don't really have anything I want to say. If you want to talk, you should come up with a topic. Wow, he's so unreasonable. Have all your memories from this. You have all, all your memories from this week. What? Oh, all you have are memories from this week. What the heck are you going to talk about? Mm. But if you don't say something, he won't start talking. If he doesn't start talking, he won't stop walking. Hmm. What will you do? really going to study abroad. What? You're bringing this up now? Wait, that's too direct. Weren't you, weren't you already supposed to know that he was going abroad? Uh-oh, we need to change the subject before he starts questioning us. A co-worker told me we're love rivals now. Oh. oh, that's a fairly interesting topic you've brought up. What kind of reaction do you want from me? You seem bored today, too. It doesn't appear you have any interest in spending time with me. To top it all off, the topic you brought up was about your co-worker being a rival in love. So, what about it? Are you saying you want to introduce me to that other woman? What? I see. You have so little enthusiasm for dating me, you won't even confront your co-worker about this issue. It must be un or uncomfortable for you to be with me, and having a rival at work on my account would only increase this comfort. I believe you're trying to hint as you wish to break up. Am I making correct assumptions? Why would you assume that? Are you saying that I'm wrong? Then what was your intention? Were you just trying to make idle conversation? Yes! You always immediately question my words in the same way. I'd like to, c I'd like to compliment you for having splendid quick reaction time, but honestly, you're simply acting childish. Oh my god! I've often told I'm insensitive, but, you but you're the same. Do you honestly think I enjoy a topic like that? My opinion hasn't changed for them from before. I believe that the most efficient for humans to have multiple relationships with the opposite sex over their lives. What? However, that doesn't mean one should have multiple relationships at the same time. I neither had the desire for, desire nor the time for such a thing. I'm not even capable of sufficiently attending to you. Oh, God, can't. Of course, if one becomes tired of another, it is most efficient to immediately break up and move on to the next relationship. But I believe that it's still far too early to consider that. In other words, even if there's another woman that has an interest in me, that has absolutely no meaning at present. However, have you become tired of me? In that case, I can see some meaning in your previous statement. Wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on? Is this an overreaction? You were just making conversation. And he's talking about breaking up when you're getting when you're getting tired. What does he mean to break up when he gets tired of you? Uh. What are you saying? My beliefs haven't changed from before. We argued over this already. Have you forgotten? He said this before. Yeah, his opinions didn't change earlier too. I haven't become tired of you at present. I'm simply stating my beliefs. Ugh, what is with this guy? If you keep saying things like this, I would be only natural for you to get mad at him. Huh? Uh, what? Huh? What? Your heart was broken by the person you admired? I see, but what about it? Listen, I'm, n I'm neither a real teacher nor I'm your counselor. I was simply invited here as a mathematics lecturer for a short time, and unofficially at that. What kind of answer are you expecting 
coming to me for romantic advice. Uh, it's not advice, but idle talk. I see. So your view, uh, so you view your failure as love as an in interesting antidote. Antidote. Seriously, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> In that case, I'll state my opinion. It's most efficient for living creatures to change the target of their affections one after another. He states this way too, like, scientifically. <laughs> it allows for a large number of emotional experiences in breaking up. When one becomes tired of another, it allows for a higher rate of producing a sizable offspring. <laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Um, obviously this was made a long time ago because that's not how the real world works. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, buddy. In other words, your failed love is quite beneficial as a college experience. You should continue doing the same. I just can't believe you just said the more better, the best experience you get will help you make a really good child. Pretty much. <laughs> what? what? Mm, mm, I'd like to hear your reasoning for this. What makes you believe that I deserve a slap from you? Oh, she slapped it. Um, oh my god, yes. Uh, getting dizzy again. What happened? Are you feeling dizzy again? Was your body always this weak? Fuck you, man. <laughs> mm. This isn't the time for an argument. Can you walk? I'll accompany you home. We got another memory. <laughs> this, where's glasses? Oh, I see him. Never mind. I was like, what? I'm so confused. Apparently. I oh, God. Like, this is weird. You had a date today, but it was really an unpleasant conversation. Pretty much. One of your memories did come back, so I guess it's not a total loss. Anyway, after seeing that memory today, we know one of two things. We know two things. First, the count was officially going to be your universe going to your university as an unofficial math lecturer. I wonder if that's how you and Kent got to know each other. It wasn't an unofficial lecturer. The other thing is, it seems like you and Kent even back then didn't get along. Both of your memories have come back to seems have been fighting with Kent. Oh, but if you really didn't go along, you wouldn't talk to him about your failed relationship with him. Maybe that's what triggered the bitterness in your relationship. Regardless, there's no mistaking that Kent had an important place in your life. All the memories come back have been about Kent. Anyways, I think continuing to spend time with him would be the quickest route to recovery. Although you're kind of, you kind of end up parting in bad terms today. It's okay, though. I'm sure it was just an everyday occurrence for you two. It's like they'll call you again tomorrow to talk again tomorrow. Like the on the first day. Oh my gosh. Who's that? Is that Mina? No, I think that's you with that Oh, okay. Okay, I was like, the hair looks weird, but I don't know who it is. Well, mm. oh, should we get the episode off here? Uh, yeah. All right. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later, right? Bye-bye.